All right, guys, we got an unboxing today and it's sitting over here and I'm going to dig it out of there for you. But I wanted to show you whenever you do, whenever you open one of these bikes or scooters, it's always good to have, you know, a razor knife, some cutters, wire cutters to snip the um, zip ties and a little pair of you know, adjustable pliers there. Just in case you run into something where you need a wrench or something, you, nothing fits or whatever. So that's what I got. And we're going to grab this little scooter over here. This is the Hover One scooter I picked up over at Best Buy. It's, it's pretty big. I'm going to run you off some of the specs on it. It has, uh, it's the maximum weight on it is 264 pounds. Um... No, the weight on this thing is 37 pounds. The minimum weight for a rider is 40, 44 pounds. They got a lithium ion battery, six amps. It goes up to, and from what I've seen on YouTube, a few videos for some people, 18 to 21 miles an hour, up to 12 miles of range, and the charge time's five hours. Now it says on here it weighs 37 pounds, but man, I'm telling you what, this box seems a heck of a lot heavier than that. Now it's got 10 inch air filled tires, no tubes, it's got rims. And what uh, what I really liked about this scooter in particular was it had the wide deck. Um, and I like that wide deck because you can ride it with both feet parallel like that. You know, you can have both your feet on the deck, you know, next to each other instead of one in the front and one in the back. Like you see a lot of these thin scooters with the thin deck on them. If, well, you have that one foot in front and one foot behind you. But this one, you can actually put both feet this way. So it has this nice wide deck. And the deck lights up. It has a light there. And it has a, a Bluetooth speaker built in, which I really don't care about because I'm not going to be messing around with that. And it has a, um, a digital screen for your speedometer and your battery indicator. And all that stuff and it has a big rear disc brake so um let's open the box and check it out oh. it's uh 36 volts let's just get some of the preliminary stuff out of here's the charger it just says spare bolts. That's what it says on there. Spare bolts. There, now it just started raining. So I took the rad runner out to the garage. So it's kind of raining pretty good out there right now. So I'm going to try to get this out tomorrow morning. Oh, well, this thing, they give you a tire pump, which I thought was actually pretty cool. You know, I can use this for uh, my other stuff, you know. But it actually pulls up the whole mechanism. All right, that's fine. All right, works. Yay. Let's take the whole sucker out of there. Okay, there's like a little manual there. I think the thing is, for the most part, assembled. See, all that's left in here is more styrofoam. We're at this stage here. Boy, this thing feels nice. This thing's, this thing's pretty beefy, okay? It's not, you know, this isn't like one of those, um, you know, those $89 scooters you see at Walmart or something like that. This thing has got some beef to it. So first things first, let's get the, uh, there is a kickstand. Let's get the, this part put on it. Okay, now this is how it folds down so you can carry it. Okay, so this part, once you get the handlebars and all that set on there, you will take it and fold it down like that. And it will snap in to this little clip right here. And then that way you pick it up by that. Now here's the lock for this, so you lift it up here. There's a little, um, 
pin right here, you have to actuate it to raise it up in the air so it falls into the hole. You gotta cut this off. That was the only zip tie I had to cut off. That's nice. The tires, they are filled. So I'm not gonna need the pump. Now, this, you know, I could see, I could just imagine going 20 miles an hour on this thing, okay. Okay, so there it goes. The wire, now it has a kickstand, I believe, and that's right there. Yeah, and it holds it up pretty straight. That's pretty nice, actually. Now it has one of those, it has one of those thumb accelerators, which is right here. It's got one brake, and that will be a back. It's one back brake, no front brake. Um, okay, that bell is uh, way nicer than the Jets and Bolt Pro bell. Now it has this little doodad here. I'm just not sure what that is. But uh, I know you have to put some screws in here to hold on the handlebars. So let's go, uh, let's get them in there. All right, so that's it. That's basically, it's, it's assembled. It's ready to go. I'm going to look through the instructions. I'm going to turn it on. There's the throttle, like I said. So let's um, stop the video here and I'll take the camera and I'll hold it and show you some of the stuff over here. Okay, so here's the throttle. So when you're driving, you have to push down on it like that. So you'll be holding this, and that'll give you your throttle. Now, people complain about these because they cause that little muscle right in there to start spasming, but, you know, you have to deal with it. There's the bell. Here's your brake. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what this little clip is, but I'm sure it'll be in the manual. I'll see what it is. Let's turn it on. Here's the power button. The battery is half charged. As you see right there, there's your miles per hour and there's your battery indicator. So that's, it's pretty nice right there. I really like that. Um, there's your little brake light in the back. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, it, it flashes when you hold the brake in. Okay. So that's about it. Um, the quality of this thing feels extremely nice. Extremely nice. Now, I'm not even sure how to turn on the deck light. Or does it come on automatically at dark? I'm just not sure. But, you know, that's something we'll get when we get the first ride going. Let me see if I tap the power button. Maybe it'll... Oh, wow. Okay, double tap the power button, and that turns on the deck light. Okay. Okay, so these brake lights, they just flash when you hit the brake. So the light's always going to be on. Let's turn that deck light off. Yeah, so that was simple. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let me cut this, uh, stop the video real quick. I'm going to put a paint can underneath this thing and we can hear the motor run. All right. I got it sitting on top of a can of kills. Okay. So <laughs> that's a stain blocker for anybody that doesn't know what that is. So let's try the accelerator, the throttle up, oh, kickstands down. Okay, so it knows something. Okay, so there's some safety device going on here. 
Okay, guys, I just uh, figured it out real quick. I'm not going to do that in the house, okay? <laughs> so what you have to do to start it is you have to kick it and manually, you know, put your one foot on the scooter and push off with the other foot and it gets going, then you, the throttle will work. It won't work from a dead standstill. So you have to kickstart it, basically. So that's no big deal. I'm going to charge it up right now and um, get ready to go outside with it. I'm going to go out in the morning. Maybe I'll take it up to the mall and spin it around the mall. You can't see very good out there. It's it's wet and raining. All right. Hey, I'm going to tell you, it's uh, really nice quality, man. I mean, this quality, the feel of this thing is real nice. So... All right, guys, I'm just going to throw some video here at the end so you can see the display and the tires and all that stuff. Now, there's the brake, the caliper, and all that stuff. That's right there, and the hub. The motor, it's 400 watt. I think it's 400, 450, which is 100 watts bigger than the, the, the pro thing, you know, the little jets and bolt. And then the tires are kind of, they have like these covers o over them. Yeah, there's where you fill them right there. Here's the deck. See how wide it is? It's nice. Real nice. Like I said, it has a Bluetooth speaker built into it. I'm not uh, I'm not going there. I'm not doing Bluetooth speaker. Okay? And then if I can hold the camera and do this part, the way you unlock this thing, it's it's simple. You just pull this back and then you Yeah, this is the part that's hard with one hand. You pull this back. It's just hard to just demonstrate it with one hand. You know what I mean? There. You just pull that back. There's that little actuating uh, button. Is right there. It's that little actuating clip. You see it looks like a little hook. Right there. See it going up and down? Okay. So that's what you use to lock it and unlock it. All right, guys, that little thing that I didn't know what it was that was on the handlebars right there, that's what you lock on to that pin right there to pick it up. So you, it just snaps on there like that. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, that just snaps on there, and then you just pick it up like that. Now, it's not real light, like I said, so it's not... Like some five-year-old is going to be able to pick this thing up because they're not. So, All right, guys. There you go. Have a nice day.